This is Replicant Fish. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if this is your first time here, what we do on this channel is we're in support of a website called Curtains of Meat. Yes. Which is a place where like minded men go to meet and have deep philosophical conversations about life, science, the world, while watching videos of women exploring themselves in grand detail. Yes, in detail. So if you'd like to be a part of this grand venture, subscribe now and become a member of Curtains of Meat. Halal Meat is also available. But seriously, seriously, this channel is more a channel for single people and for one to embrace their singledom. Hope you're doing well, hope you're feeling well, hope you've had a good day. And as always, I hope you've felt yourself today, indeed. So to today's topic, the topic of lust is a weakness. And yes, lust is a weakness. Let me explain myself first of all, and to explain the almost uncontrollable lust I used to have. And I will begin with a quote from rapper Nas. And some of you have heard me say this before. The quote being, eat them so much, the girls call me seafood lover. And if I remember correctly, it's from the song Flyist. And yes, yes, Replicant Fish was once such a fiend. You see, my lust was so deep that, that getting a woman to that point became an addiction for me. And getting her to that point multiple times, yes, it became addictive. But let me explain why. You see, one thing about sex is how as a man, you can feel very manly during sex. How it's the feeling and thought that you're for lack of a better word or other words, ploughing her, basically, is a feeling of masculinity. Because in a sense, you feel as if you're dominating her during the sex. Which in reality, that's what it actually is. Because we have the outer organ, yes, and they have the inner, it's the feeling of piercing, of dominating, of taking. And obviously, I mean that with consent. But it's that feeling, that feeling right there, that has made me as a man feel this raw surge of adrenaline. Of course you would. It's natural. Our bodies are programmed to react this way. But you see, my point is, at what point should you stop and address how lustful you actually are? You see, the modern term is thirst. How thirsty are you? The thirst goes beyond lust because the thirst also incorporates the vast array of sexual imagery we have nowadays. It's everywhere. In a sense, you can't blame men for thinking about it all the time, considering that it's everywhere. It's everywhere you go. But you see, the point with the lust, the deep thirst, is that makes you weak. See, the reason your thirst and lust makes you weak is because of what you seek in order to fulfill that lust, i.e. a woman. Now, because women have the thing you want, them being the gatekeepers of sex, it means if you're weak to your lust and your desire and your thirst, it means you're weak to women also. Which then means women can very easily manipulate you, take advantage of you, and use you. Simply because of your lust, your desire and want for her, for them. But you see, this world would make you believe that following your lust is the normal thing to do and that you as a man should be doing that anyway. But the reality is, in modern times, in the Me Too era, in an era where you as a man can be accused of horrific things, just for trying to talk to a woman, you as a modern man should be able to stop and address the lust. Look at what you're really lusting after and why. And I've said this before, and every time I say it, I always ask for someone to tell me what goes beyond this point. The point being sex. What goes beyond sex? In other words, what goes beyond your pursuit of a nut? Nothing. Your pursuit of a nut is the pursuit of the nut. Once you have expelled it, it's gone. There's nothing beyond it. The thing you were chasing was that. Now you've had it. It's then as a man, you should question, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was everything you did to get that worth it? Was your pursuit of this woman, this fiending pursuit of this woman, to get this from her, was it actually worth it in the end? You see, as a man of 36 years old, I can tell you, most men would never tell you you should control your desire. No, most men would tell you to just chase it. Because it's only normal, isn't it? It's only normal. But the point is, an uncontrollable desire means it's very easy for you to become a simp. 
means it's very easy for you to be stepped on by women because of what you want from them. The power is not chasing your desire. The power is in controlling your desire. Understand this. Women would never tell you as a man to control your desire. The only time they will say this is in terms of taking advantage of women, which, which is something you as a man should never do. That's not the sort of crap we promote around here, no. I promote the control, the self-discipline. Now the reason why women wouldn't want men to control their desire is what power would they then have against men that don't want anything from them? What power is there? There's none. She can't manipulate you. She can't use you. She can't have you begging like a dog. Why? Because you're not so lost in your desire and thirst that you would beg her for anything. Thus, the power is still in your hands. The power leaves your hands when you give it to her. When you let her know you want her, then she has the power to fool you and do all manner of things to you simply because of that desire. And I have to think back to my younger days and think of the journeys I went on just to get some. Think of the miles I trekked just to get some. For what? To expel a nut? Yes, I expelled a nut. Was it always good? No, it wasn't. Sometimes I felt that this was a waste of time. Because it was. Because I was chasing nothing but my desire. Now you see, the older you get, the easier it does become to control your desire. Simply because you have more testosterone when you're younger, the fiending need is thus so strong. But the older you get as a man, it does become easier, because you do have less testosterone than you did when you were younger. But that is all the more reason for young men to understand the control of their desire. The power in the control. The fiending lust, the chasing lust, is the weakness. Because that's you as a man, giving a woman this dominance and power over you, just for you to get to the point where you can dominate her sexually. You see, and because of lust and desire, many men would do stupid things and go as far as to fight another man over a woman that's not even his. It was his turn. He had a turn with her, it was his turn. Or he may have wanted a turn with her, but he feels as if that man over there is stepping on his territory. So without rational thought, some men just attack. Attack to defend something that's not even theirs. And aside from those situations, it's the ones where you're with a woman, you know this woman's no good for you, but she does do something good for you, good to you, my God. And for everything wrong with this woman, it's the thought of, you know what, one more time, just one more time, then I can leave her alone for good. But I myself have been caught in that situation where I say one more time, multiple times. Yep, one more time. One more time, then I will leave her. But then due to wild lust, fiending lust, it took longer than needed to get away from her. You see, for most men, controlling their lust is a very difficult thing. Because you're going against your body's natural desire. So in a sense, you do have to learn to discipline yourself. Almost in a sense reprogram yourself for as much as you may want to do her what are the consequences of doing her what sort of baggage does she have what sort of emotional or mental issues does she have does she have an std does she have other men and you are one of many many a side piece man you see as men lust is blinding blinding because as men the things we would do just to fulfill that lust and desire what women know is most men live and lean heavily on their desire. So most women know most men are weak to them because of this. So this is why women can be so bold and be as difficult as they want to be because they have a guarantee, a guarantee that a large majority of men would want to sleep with them. So understand, many women have a large amount of confidence because of this, because of the power they know they have over men. The true power is letting them know they have no power over you. No matter how lustful you are, does not mean you have to be a fool to it. Does not mean you have to be weak to it. Take the time to stop and think. And then think again. Is she worth it? Is she worth all of your effort just for a nut? Is she? Be aware, men. Be very aware. And beware. It's sort of like a breakthrough. A sledgehammer to a brick wall. 
focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.